this is just going to be a short video on how to connect LibreOffice 3 database with MySQL native connector. On a previous video I showed you how to connect it to a Java database connectivity which was quite long and cumbersome and takes a little while to set up. This is far easier. Now with LibreOffice 3's um, MySQL native connector that is still unreleased so I went off to the OpenOffice website onto their extensions and downloaded their connector. So we go extensions.openoffice.org and you can see here on the first page it shows the MySQL connector for OpenOffice. OpenOffice and LibreOffice are pretty much the same sort of thing. They uh, kind of wear the same sort of code and it just works. So if we click on the link to that, it tells you here that MySQL Connector for OpenOffice installs a native MySQL database driver. It's faster, seamless integrated, easier to administer, and there is no need to install and set up JDBC or ODBC drivers separately. It's never easy to use MySQL database in OpenOffice or LibreOffice base create new database tables or use the power of SQL query editor for OpenOffice to visually build MySQL database queries without learning SQL commands. Not to forget the database forms to allow you to display and manipulate data. Well, I'll let you read the rest if you want to. Now I'm using Linux 64-bit editions. I'm running Ubuntu 12.04 and I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, why are you still using Windows? get the hell off of it use Linux it's fantastic that's all I'm gonna say there click next oh okay you're sticking with it because of games um, there's lots of games on Linux and yes you can still run the applications like docs and things like that but why do I need to tell you you're running LibreOffice okay so let's just save that so whilst that downloads, I'm downloading it for the fourth time. Uh, okay, let's get rid of this. If we go to Tools on uh, LibreOffice, go to the Extensions Manager. Now we can add our extension we just downloaded, and there it is there. And then we click Open. Read the information if you want to, and then Accept. And it now adds in the SQL connector. Okay. So if we close this, it's advisable to restart LibreOffice. So let's just do that. There we go. And now we click on database, connect to existing database, MySQL, next. And we can see now that it defaults to connect directly. Whereas before we just had the other two options for the ODBC and the JDBC. So let's click next. I'll put in there my first database. And I'm going to put localhost because that's where my server is hosted at the moment. And click next. Pop in your password. Shouldn't really use the root connector, but I am for demonstration. And we can see now that it connects successfully. Click OK, click Next, register it, save it, I'll replace it. And here you can see there's other tables in there as well. Because what the MySQL native does, it pulls in all of the other databases of the MySQL server. But that's fine because the functionality of linking and connecting data from multiple databases in uh, LibreOffice base is a very useful tool indeed. I hope this video has helped you guys out. Please subscribe, please vote, please comment, but keep it clean. Thank you very much.